What's up everybody, Solar J here. Today I'm gonna show you a quick and easy and most of all fun way to do stubs like this one. Or single note hits like this one. Or razors like this one. Bring your tech production to the next level. This is the way I do this kind of sounds in my own productions and by the way my first single recently went out on all the major streaming platforms check it out in the descriptions and stay tuned because on the 29th of july 2024 another one is coming out without further ado let's go for today's video we're gonna use the grandmother which is an analog semi-modular synth because it has a very gritty sound and makes stubs and risers and effects that i really like another reason i want to use this one is because it doesn't have presets so we are not tempted to scroll over pre-made sounds but we're just gonna twist knobs until we find something that we like the idea is to record a very long audio file with a lot of different experimentations and trials and then go back into ableton and cherry pick the one that we like and put them in our production, which in this case is gonna be this simple bit that you hear in the background. So let's start with the stubs. Of course, with the stubs, you want to have like a short decay. Uh, I love when the grandmother is in sync, it's true oscillator in sync, so let's put it like that, but put it at zero for the moment. Uh, we have uh, an LFO with uh, cutoff modulation and a very high rate, uh, and we're gonna play also with the mod knob so that like this, it's not doing, not doing anything. And like this is like modulating like crazy. Okay, we put the sustain to zero, short decay, something like this. And now, yeah, let's record some stuff. Play with the frequency. Change some, change the wavelength, change the waveform. Add some noise. with the frequency, with the sync frequency. Try with the pitch band. Alright, this will do for the stubs. Then let's record some single notes, like some hits. We put the sustain to the maximum because we want to do something like this. Check this out. No modulation, frequency down. A bit more release and do like one of these. Cut off. Change the waveform. And now we're gonna do the rubber band trick. This is a pretty cool trick I saw on a video on YouTube, and basically it allows you to couple two different knobs together. So we're gonna do that for the uh, sync frequency and the cutoff. Unfortunately, the oscillator 2 is also on the way, but it shouldn't matter much. So 
So now whenever we move one, we also move the other, right? So let's see what happens. Right, and now for the final one, we're gonna record some razors. And the razors we can do with, uh, with this guy, so we put the pitch modulation as well. Check this out. Add some noise. Let me put them hold so I can also do a frequency modulation. Higher octave. I think we have enough material now and let's go back into Ableton and start cherry picking stuff. Cool, so this is our project, here you have the beat and here you have what we just recorded. So let's start by listening to it. And we're gonna go one hit by one and find the one that we like. Mm -hmm. This is cool, and when I like something, I'm gonna put it uh, in some other truck, like here, for later use. Oh yes, this is good. So we're building material here. Thank you. 
have enough stubs so now let's start to uh, mute this of course and try to use some of these guys in the first part of our beat. Boom. There you go. Uh huh, we start with this. And of course, you want to make sure that it's uh, whatever you want. maybe you know I feel like this one could benefit from like some heavy delay like this here, sorry, 16 bars of stubs and for now I'm just gonna duplicate it and so this is gonna be our stubs and now we are going to duplicate this and use like some hits, single notes, some single notes and for that, we're gonna have to listen somewhere here. This is fun. Nice. Uh, so this, we can put it just before the pump pump. A lot of reverb. So 
this is cool. Uh, we're gonna put it somewhere here. We want to try to reverse it. Or maybe before this. Pa, 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 pa. but let's put them at the beginning because then we can just duplicate them. So what did I get here? See how I'm playing with um, different combinations of uh, reverb and delay stubs and single notes. And yeah, I think it sounds pretty cool already. Let's see the razors. It's not like a, a real arrangement, but just to show you guys how I work with this stuff, with this material. So a razor can be put like here and you can, I don't know, remove the kick for the whole duration and maybe the bass for the last half of it uh, and the sub like this. Uh, this needs a lot of reverb and we can have also some chorus.
more interesting, like this maybe. sounds pretty good um, I will stop here because I think I showed you guys the main workflow that I have big long file um, stubs single notes with cutoff opening or not and razors and then you go into Ableton and you cherry pick and you assemble everything to your taste so let's have a listen to this part the break and see how it works <laughs> Get to like and subscribe and check my Patreon page and happy stopping and see you next time.